Firefighters here and across the state are on alert tonight as temperatures heat up. Here in San Diego, a small brush fire broke out today along an Otay Mesa freeway. This was the latest in a series to hit Southern California as a heat wave makes its way across the state. News 8's Steve Price joins us now live from Terra Santa with a look at how crews are making sure they're equipped to handle the heat. Steve? Carlo and Barbara Lee, we went from June gloom to a mini heat wave in a hurry, which is why grass that was green just a few days ago is now looking like this, turning brown, and it's exactly why local firefighters are concerned. A lot of smoke. But fast-acting firefighters quickly knocked down the flames, keeping this fire along the 905 just east of the 805 from spreading beyond an acre and a half and away from two nearby schools. This is just the start of fire season. We have several small fires over the last few days. Deputy Chief Steve Wright says city crews are keeping very busy these days, and the location of this fire made things tricky in a canyon next to a freeway. It's hard when you're on the freeway, you have traffic coming by, you have to make sure your crews are safe. Several fires have already hit Southern California this week. This one yesterday right next to Magic Mountain around noon, there was a lot of smoke in the amusement park and the flames got dangerously close. The fire was getting big, the palms were burning. Officials ended up evacuating Magic Mountain and at least nine people were treated for smoke inhalation. The park did reopen today with no damage. Just remember, this is early in the summer and we've got a long road ahead of us, so please just be aware and be fire safe. Cal Fire is also very concerned about this summer, especially after our rainy winter. Grasses have been growing and when they dry out and die, they can easily catch fire. They spread fast um, and they can really take people by surprise. Which is why officials say now is the time to start planning for the worst. Make sure you have a plan in place in case you only have a few minutes to evacuate. Know what prescription medicines, important documents, computers and flash drives you'll want to grab just in case. I think it's going to be an active fire season. Hopefully nothing too big. Hopefully nobody gets hurt or loses property. So we're going to do our best, but uh, the public should know it's already starting and to be careful. And another reminder from firefighters, have that defensible space around your house. So if there is a fire, there is that cushion there to give them a chance to fight for you, try to save your home. All right, the big question, how long is this heat wave going to continue for the answer on that? Let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Carlene Chavis back in the studio. Carlene. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, we are talking about that heat wave continuing as we go into our forecast the next couple of days. You can see there's a big ridge of high pressure, so that's why a lot of that moisture is just going north of us and will not penetrate. We are just talking about a few high clouds that are around, but because it's a big ridge of high pressure, we're holding on to some really hot temperatures over the next couple of days. These were the forecast highs for today. Ramona at 103. That actually beat a record. So initially that record was set back in 1972 and that was into the 90s and now we're talking about 103. Now something to make note of is El Cajon was forecast to have a, a high today of 94 degrees. Add 10 to that. So that was actually the record high for El Cajon earlier today and we're talking about the heat sticking around our forecast across the state as well as closer to home. So a heat advisory is in place. We're seeing that right towards the north of us around San Francisco. More record heat across the state between the 90s to the low 100s, as well as an excessive heat warning that will stay in effect, not just towards the north of us and also impacting around Nevada as well as Arizona, but closer to home for San Diego and our local deserts. We will have temperatures for tomorrow between 110 to 115. Now this will start tomorrow morning, keep going Wednesday all the way until 8 p.m. with that excessive heat warning. So this is the time where you have to think about keeping a close eye on kids as well as pets and cars, drinking plenty of water and making sure that you are seeking some sort of refuge in the AC.